Just like every place here in Miami-Dade County, Hopestead Air Force Base, it felt the full fury of Hurricane Andrew. In August of 1992, the uh, Hurricane Andrew came through, and this is what was left of that F-4 that was sitting on static display. People were just in regular prepare mode. They were preparing for what could be a Category 1, Category 2, Category 3 hurricane. They weren't preparing for what actually happened. It's safe to say that no one was prepared for Hurricane Andrew, the Category 5 hurricane that slammed into Miami-Dade and Homestead Air Force Base. That base was home to the 482nd Fighter Wing and Maintenance Squadron, one of the crown jewels of the Air Force. As the storm approached, those jets were flown to another base in Ohio. You evacuate everybody, you evacuate all the aircraft, and all, you tied on all the equipment, and you have a rideout team. Um, but they didn't actually know what hit them until it went through. Sergeant Tim Norton, a member of the maintenance squadron, rode out the storm at his in-law's house in Kendall. Right after the storm went through, I made my way back down here to the base, and that's when I saw the destruction. It looked just like an atom bomb had exploded down here. Some of the uh, you know, experienced officers explained that we could not even accomplish this kind of destruction with bombs. It was that bad. It was a destruction that they saw. That destruction turned personal for Sergeant Norton, whose home was destroyed. Electricity was out for about three months. All the high transmission lines from Turkey Point were down. So until those got rebuilt, nobody down here was getting any power. So it was really chaos. Sergeant Norton's home and Homestead Air Force Base were rebuilt. It's amazing from what it went to in 92 to what it is now. Today, Homestead Air Reserve Base is home to Customs and Border Protection, the Coast Guard, and the Florida Air National Guard. Occasionally, the base hosts an air show attracting hundreds of thousands of people. And every year, preparations are made for another hurricane. They always plan for a Category 5 because a Category 5 came through here, so now they know what that's like. 